Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another plan with me in my teacher happy planner, but I also have a mini Joann's haul to show you guys first. So let's do that first. So I went to Joann's, um, it's about an hour away. I was looking for the happy notes and I found them. Yes guys, this is the um, happy notes I got all lined. Um, and it says make every day Count. It is gorgeous with very beautiful, um, like it's almost puts you in the mind of soft geos. I absolutely love it, and it's all lined paper. Um, so that's the big one, and then I got three guys, yes, three classic size all lined. Um, and this one says, Life is a party. And then this one says, um, let's see. life is lovely. And then this one says, positive thinking, positive attitude. Yes. Okay. So the final thing that I purchased that you guys know I was looking for is the classic size um, deluxe cover. And as you can, I don't know if you can see that because it's red so it may not focus but I paid it was $17 and then I got 25% off of $17 so it was a really great deal so I showed you this guys I showed you this last because I'm gonna go ahead and move my planner over into this so there was a couple of classic size um, planner deluxe covers that were on sale they had rose gold um, and plain gold, I believe. Okay. So I'm going to take this heart cover off and put it in this deluxe cover. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to pop this in the back. Perfect. I'm going to put my sticky notes over here. Um, I have quite a few sticky notes in this planner, so I'm actually going to put them all. I'm going to keep my stickers in here. I'm going to keep that in there. No, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put that one here. Okay, so I'm going to put these sticky notes right here in this pocket. And those over there so perfect okay so let's talk about um this week's quick plan with me it's um gonna be pretty simple if you watched my uh, teacher vlog I actually created a quick checklist for in my room All right, so let's grab this page, pull that out, and let's talk about some things that happened and that didn't happen just based on, um, let's look at this calendar first. So um, I actually ended up working in my room um, all of, every day except for Friday. And um, I haven't labeled my walls yet. And I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom in. So I haven't labeled my walls yet to say where I'm going to put things. That will happen this week. Um, I am still working on math organization. And I have not started on reading organization. I have painted everything in my room that I'm going to paint. And I have cleaned out almost everything except for one cabinet. So I'm a little behind. So this week's goal was reading organization and desk, which I have done. Um, I have to identify center spaces in my teacher area um, and then start working on bulletin boards, which I didn't realize I did not have a bulletin board outside, so that will not happen. And my school is actually closed on Friday. This will not happen on a Friday, so I'm going to have to shift that a little bit. So looking at the things that I have done... Um, and looking at that, I can go ahead and pull out my checklist here and kind of um, go ahead and start checking things off. Okay. 
Okay, so I have painted my bookshelves. I have also painted my mailboxes. Um, I have done my student desk, but not my teacher area. I have covered my long cabinets. And the cabinet near the door was already clean, so I didn't have to do that. Um, yeah, so I still have tons of things on the to-do list to complete, but let's take a list of all, take a um, quick check of all we've done. So we painted, have not cleaned out all areas. Um, hmm. I have worked on my math manipulatives, but I didn't finish. I have not labeled everything. I have not decided on bins or done reading organization. I've done some cleaning. Done some cleaning. Um, I've already done my desk. Okay. So, as you can see, I did not get a lot of this stuff done on um, last week. I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be, guys. I was slightly overwhelmed, I think, um, just trying to think about all of the pieces. Because if you guys do not follow me on my um, teacher Instagram then you may not know that I am teaching a brand new grade level. Um, and it's completely different than what I'm used to. Um, and so I'm a little uh, overwhelmed is the best word, I think. I'm a little overwhelmed because I want to be successful. But I also um, want to play in a functional classroom. And that's really difficult to do if you don't know what it actually looks like i guess i would say so you know i want to have a very functional and um moving classroom and something that allows my students to be successful but i gotta do that and that's a little bit of pressure especially when you don't know what that looks like so um the first day is going to be the 16th and i'm actually going to use my colorful um circles from my dates and holiday sticker book so i'm going to be working four days this week okay and now let's talk about some things that i want to do so as soon as i get in my room i am going to go ahead and put my manipulatives in their bins because I've already pulled them out um, and I'm going to go ahead and do those labels tonight and I want a better pen because that one's not writing so good um, the next thing I want to do um, is I want to clean out shelves because I have a couple of shelves that have not been officially cleaned out Okay, then I have to wash my chairs because I got some chairs from storage and they look horrible. So I need to wash those. And then I need to put away the things that I bring into class. The things that I'm bringing into the classroom. And then I want to see about separating separate space. But I'm going to move that also to the 17th. So I want to separate areas. Um, then I want to start working on reading material, getting that organized. So reading organization, and that's probably going to take all day. So those will be the only two things that I try to accomplish. Um, then on the 18th, I want to work on my teacher area and my library space. Um, I 
I want to have my computer area locked down. And then on the 19th, I want to work on bulletin boards. So I want to have two word walls. Two word walls. Um, I need a focus area for my students. My center rotations are going to be digital, so I don't need a space for that. And create space for anchor charts. Okay. All right. So that is what I plan on accomplishing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put my alphabet, my number line, and my alphabet. Okay, guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and design this in um, quickly on my computer. So I will show you guys what that looks like in my teacher vlog for this week. Um, so that's going to wrap up this video super fast. Next okay, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks so much for watching. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. And teach with lots of class and sass, guys. Bye.